Paul McKenna for PT Boxing. I'm here today with Tommy Coyle. How are you, Tommy? You okay? I'm very well. Yourself? I'm sorry, mate. I'm fine. We're here for Rumble on the Humber. It's your fight against uh, Luke Campbell. You know, it's a fight that's been in the pipeline for a while now. A fight that the fans want to see. A fight that Luke seems to want to fight. And a fight that you want to fight as well, Tommy. Yeah, certainly. I can't really progress anymore without beating Luke Campbell. Um, it's a fight everybody wants to see in Hull. Um, and, you know, I, I'm ready to put in a great performance and be victorious on the night. You know, we've just seen the press conference there. There was a little bit of needle, you know. Yeah, but I think, I think I've nullified that now. Yeah. I think that needed to be done because this fight doesn't need to be sold um, on all that bad blood and that, you know, building it up hype job. It's bollocks. It doesn't need to happen. Um, this fight can be sold on two lads or group together, you know, supported each other in our each careers, you know, been around the world together, you know, like I said in an interview, they're sold bubble swords, toys to yeah. kids on East Park for a quid a go when we didn't have a pot to piss in. Um, so, you know, just get in the ring, two pals, go hammer and tongue and the best man will win. And I think that sells anyway. Definitely, you know, as you just said, you know, two pals get in the get in the ring and just give it your all, and that, that's all we see time in and time out with you, Tommy. And you know, you've had your ups and downs, but you know, since the last defeat of you, in your career, which was the Derry Matthews, which is, you know, debatably an unfortunate one where you were out boxing them and got got caught. Um, that's you know, the beauty of boxing. Everybody um, is capable of making a mistake, and I just think I'm all wrong for Luke Campbell at this stage in his career. I do, however, think Luke Campbell will go on to be a world champion and a great fighter and, you know, pick up many world titles. He's a class act. You don't win gold medals if you're not. Um, but I just think I'm all wrong for him at this stage in his career. Yeah. You know, as you just said, he's, he's an Olympic gold medalist. Um, you know, he is a brilliant fighter and you're truthful in saying that yourself, that he is a really good fighter. But, you know, you're more experienced than Luke. You've got that experience. You've, you've, you've dealt with situations that he's Luke hasn't yet. He's going to round 10, um, sorry, round 3, and he's going to think, this is the end of the fight. I'm going to go, well, I'll see you in round 10. You know, and I'm still knocking on your door, breaking your heart. And I just think I'll be too much for him. Uh, what I'm going to pose in this fight is going to be something he's never come across, never seen, and I think he just won't be able to handle it. You know, as I've just touched on before, you know, we always see Tommy Coyle in exciting fights. It was a great fight against Brizuela and, you know, a massive win for you against Michael Catti. This as well, you know, it was, a, it was a really good night there. And, you know, hoping to top this off, 20,000 people coming to see coming to see you headline a fight. How does that feel? It's so. a great opportunity, you know, to make a dream become a reality. And um, I will be in top, top shape for this fight. And uh, I will give it my 100% best. And what will be, will be. Yeah, definitely. You know, as we've just seen as well, this is a WBC world title eliminator. Exactly. The WBC champion is Jorge Linares. No, probably the best in the division. Um, many people believe. You know, we've just seen him fight Kevin Mitchell in a really entertaining fight, a, a really good fight, and he's a really good fighter. You know, a three-weight world champion. Um, you know, if you do come through successful, Tommy, you know, you're more than happy to take that fight and you think you're capable yeah, of... Yeah, definitely. You make great pictures in the scrapbook. I just, I didn't expect to where I am today, if I'm honest, and I've got here through having a big pair of knackers, you know, plenty of art and showing plenty of courage. So, when I beat Luke Campbell, if that's the fight what they offer me, then yeah, let's get it on. Let's go do it in Vegas, or let's do it here, even better. If we could do it, do it in all, and Eddie could sort that, even better. But, um, yeah, it's, it's all for the scrapbook. You know? Yeah. Listen, no matter what you achieve, you all come to an end and um, you know the greatest have come to an end and it's about what legacy you leave and what you know memories you leave in people's uh, mind and you know I hope I can leave a few. You know you've just touched on it a little bit yourself there that you know if you do come through successful against Lucas it's a big possibility that the fight against the Nardas may not be in England um, but that's a challenge that you'd like you'd, you'd accept and you'd like oh, to. 100%. You'd like to I'm fight. always up packing a suitcase and going away um, but listen, it would be nice to do it, you know, obviously, you know, having home support and what have you, and these fans and all the crackers. But um, whatever, it'd be nice to, you know, box in Vegas, something, something you, you dream of, Michael Buffer in, introducing you and all the rest of it. But let's just take one fight at a time first. Yeah. You know, 18 months ago I was on fruit and vegetable, you got to remember that you need to slow down a little bit and uh, concentrate on Luke Campbell. Definitely, yeah. As you just said, you know, 18 months ago on a fruit and veg stall and now 18 months on you're fighting That's a it. So world I'm, title eliminator. I'm happy with 
how my career has panned out and you know how successful I've been. You know, if if it all came to an end tomorrow, I'd be happy. Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm comfortable. As you, you know, you've always been honest. You know, you're an honest, you're on a, you're an honest guy, and you're always honest in your interviews, no matter who it may be and what it may be about. You know, you you, you admit that Luke's a class fighter, but you know it could be too early for him. Like it's a bit of a similar situation with Anthony Joshua, the way he's now going into the big fights, and like Kevin Johnson thought it might have been too early for him with his experience, and you know you believe that now with your experience and with Luke's inexperience, and that he hasn't had to deal with some of the problems you have then. You know, it's a, it's a, it's definitely a good chance that you can you can beat Luke Campbell. You just answered the question, everything you asked. Um, that's exactly what I believe. Um, I'm gonna be too much for him at this stage in his career. That is what it's gonna come down to. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna do it. Or, you know, when I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna happen. It ain't going the distance. No chance. Well, if, you know, it's not gonna go the distance, or or if it does go the distance, I'm sure it's gonna be an exciting fight, no matter what. Um, we've just seen Jamie Moore up here as well. How's Chayna been going for this fight? Tommy been going well. Fantastic. Jamie's a, a great fight. You've got to remember Jamie's a southpaw. He knows what southpaws don't like. He comes with a southpaw. You've got it boxed off, let me tell you. August affairs, people just need to turn up. We need to get tickets from Daddy Coyle's fruit stall. <laughs> the big fruit and veg pitch out there. Um, you know, and enjoy what's going to be a great event. Most definitely. And just last but not least question, Tommy. Um, you know, you've been a pro for a few years now, uh, well, a good few years, and, you know, you said you're happy with your career at the minute. Is there nothing else that you'd like, you know, if, if you do beat Luke Campbell, obviously you're only taking one fight at a time, what is the ultimate goal for you, you know, Listen, being a kid at this growing, stage? You want to be a world champion, don't you? That's anybody's dream, but one fight at a time, I'm happy, I'm yeah. comfortable, I'm, um, how can I put it, you know, I'm very, I'm, very, I'm a realist, as you can probably tell. Um, am I a world class fighter? No. Mm. Have I got world class determination? Absolutely. Mm. And sometimes, you know, determination is the tortoise in the hair. You know, the tortoise one who's determined to get to the end and the tortoise one. So I'm the tortoise. <laughs> Okay, well that's it for the DNC today. It's Paul McKenna for PT Box, and we've been here with Tommy Coyle. Best of luck for August the first, Tommy, and best of luck with whatever you decide to do with the rest of your career. Top interview, thanks, Paul.